folks, Coughlin here. This video is going to be what could possibly turn into a series called Dick Coughlin Reacts 2. You see, one thing I've noticed that as I've got a bit older, see, I listen to obviously a lot of the news and a lot of uh, you know shows on the radio, a lot of shows on YouTube, a lot of shows just in general. And uh, one thing I've noticed that as I've got older, I tend not to be able to sit and listen to people talk utter shite uh, anymore. And so what I tend to do now is I do that thing that older people tend to do where I... You know, I can't hold it in anymore. My rage and my sort of tolerance to it has withered away. So I thought this would be interesting to start a new series where I can sort of pick a various sort of video or react to. Uh, I'll sort of uh, play, a, play a series of videos or clips and I'll react to them uh, as they are. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So today I've decided to pick, the first one I'm going to do is LBC Radio. Uh, specifically, the absolute morons who ring in, most of them shit in, and uh, think that they can talk about stuff that they're completely unqualified to do. You know, th th that sort of stuff. And I lose my goddamn temper. Now what I've done is I've made a massive playlist with literally hundreds and hundreds of videos in. And I'm going to play like three, or four or five random uh, videos and I'm just going to play them, and uh, whichever one's coming, and I'm going to I'm going to fucking uh, record myself reacting live to them. I'll have a, I'll have a little video down here, and then uh, that'll be it. And then we'll see what it, see it turns out. If you enjoy it, let me know. Uh, um, let, let's get cracking, shall we? Let's all go on an urban safari. We might see some illegal migrants. Oi, look, there's a chav. That means council housed and violent. He's got a hoodie on, give him a hug. I'll suck a full stoke, you don't want to get mugged. Oh shit, too late, that was kind of dumb. Whose idea was that? Stupid cunt. You're, you're excited, are you? Even when you see that wonderful, vibrant, uh, together, multicultural team, he, even take the. He ain't gonna be, is getting he? Getting on incredibly well, despite all uh, their different backgrounds, realising more unites than divides them. Uh, I've been able to get a bit excited when people talk about motivationism. Yeah, he sounds well fucking excitable, doesn't he? Just listening to you saying about the vibrant multiracial society. The vibrant multiracial society. society. That presumably means when it was just a white society, it was... Uh, Non -vibrant, total no, no, it doesn't mean that, mate. That's your persecution complex creeping in. That's you wanting to be a victim. Okay, literally, when he says it's a vibrant, multicultural, multiracial society, he's not saying, oh, thank God all these bloody brown people are here, otherwise we'd be sat here bored as fuck. That's not his point. Right? He's just saying it's, you know, different. There's stuff around, there's different people, it's, it's diverse. It doesn't mean it's boring. I mean, it would be boring if everyone was like you. Sound like the fuck. You should have been entertainment officer on the fucking Titanic, mate. Sinking? Bollocks is it sinking. Let's have another okie cokey. Well, I think things like uh, our diets are far better. I'm, I'm glad we now eat, uh, eat curry and Greek food. When I grew up in the 60s, uh, it, uh, it was far less uh, vibrant, uh, certainly food and uh, music uh, too. The food is more vibrant now. This is a man who's at egg and fucking chips for every fucking meal. Egg and chips. Every fucking meal. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, of course. What would you like? I mean, look, when I was growing up, the uh, spaghetti only came in tins and hoops and someone. Just... I don't know why this bloke's focusing on fucking food. He could have fixed anything else. But, you know, it's like. It's not as if fucking Indian food we have here is, is, is resembles anything that Indian people would ever recognise as food. Things like... So uh, go to India and ask for a, mas a, tea, a chicken tikka masala. They'll look at you like your knobs hanging out. I much uh, prefer fresh pasta. Well, I'd rather go down the food... Uh, like rather go down the food route, because I know that I'm buggered if I do that, because I can't think of anything fucking interesting that we eat in this country. Plus, I'm, I've, plus I've, ordered it, I've ordered a fucking chinky just to come in whilst I'm waiting on this fucking call. Uh, I suppose we should stick to uh, the multiracial society. And no, uh, I, I totally disapprove of the multiracial society. He totally disapproves, ladies and gentlemen. He disapproves. Did you hear that? Don't you care so much? The, the England football team doesn't represent me at all. I'm pretty sure the England football team could wipe a monkey's ass with whatever it represents you, mate. You're right, it doesn't. You know, when you're so... Ra I've known a lot of racist football fans, and even they will happily cheer on cheer on England, regardless of who... But I, all of them, right? When you're so racist, you can't even cheer on your national team because they've got, what, four black players? In fact, it represents me. 
represents everything that I'm against. Um, it represents everything. Imagine saying that as a sentence. The England football team represents everything that I'm against. Everything? Yeah, I get that. So, movement, sports, eth- you know, being, you know, e- energy, you know, success. You know what you just don't like? You don't like watching black people be more successful at you than something, isn't it? That's what winds you up. Sorry, you're missing out. Uh, being such a stick in the mud. Uh, Ian, where, where are hey, you? don't say stick in the mud. Those are brown too. We're in the country. Uh, you know, the the French Huguenots, Romans, German tribes, Irish. What? You're quite right. They were all white people. Ah, they were all, your issue obviously. That you're talking about. Uh, yeah, so I think that is issue. his issue. I think we could have well, figured that one out, bro. I'm talking about women, I mean, of course. Well, of course, the, the people you're talking about, the, uh, the different... Uh, white invasions. He's okay with people coming over here, raping and pillaging and fucking taking over and fucking you know and you know just you know just t- you know and doing what you know the Vikings coming over here, raping and pillaging. He's okay with that. He's okay with foreigners coming over here and 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 taking over when they were all white because then it's like it wasn't confusing for him then. But now there's different color. He has to remember like for different things now. He has to remember different. You know, he has to think before you know. It d- dives him mad, you know. Country, they were all people of a similar type. What? So a similar type. Lenny, Lenny Henry, because he's got a black. What cunts like you? Face. You couldn't. Uh, well, the last thing I remember about Lenny Henry was complaining that there's not enough black faces on TV. He's probably right, isn't it? Well, no, I think there's far too many actually. There's too many. I don't think it's why. Why? What's wrong with you? Why? When everyone else is getting behind. What's too many? Uh, I don't know. More than none. This England team and, and loves the fact. Over the years, I mean, the media is, is, is promoting it. Well, maybe you and the media, yeah. Well, how weird of the media to get behind the England football team? How, for, as opposed to the as opposed to the the old fashioned way, because they're only getting behind it because it's a because they've never got behind. It's not as if this fucking country has ever fucking got you know used football as a fucking. You know, it's never got behind a football team ever. It's not like us. Not in. It's not in our nature, is it? Yeah, it's not, but everybody else is. Have you seen the TV audiences? What was your guess that you had on uh, before the break? Um, the media is all against multiracialism. I don't know what sort of world he's living in. Well, no, it's it's a difference between being multi about multi. First of all, they're against multiculturalism. You keep saying multi race, and second of all, it's it's not the England t- that goes out the window with football, right? It goes out the window. If they score a goal, don't fucking care. It's like, it's like you know Andy Murray. You know he's got to win it. He's got to win it for Britain, but he'll lose it for Scotland. That's the rules. But um, I think he means the Daily Mail. Uh, we did the media. Yeah, I think he means the Daily Mail. Yeah. Well, I don't think you, you, you mean to tell me the Daily Mail is against the multiracial society. Oh my God! How fucking racist do you have to be where you're not even sure that you're, you're saying the Daily Mail is against diversity and multiculture? You're saying the Daily Mail is against fucking different people from fo- immigration and all that? The Daily Mail? Are you sure that bastion of left-wing egalitarianism? That didn't definitely didn't support the Nazis in the fucking in in, in the 1930s. That Daily Mail, poor fucking. Well, I think it I think it runs a rather large uh, proportion of stories that uh, should we say are very divisive. Well, I think you're probably just talking about Brexit. To be perfect, yeah. So yeah, of course, the media has never been fucking. It, there's never been a right wing media until Brexit came along. You so fucking he, knob. He, he, do you want England to lose today? Yes. What, because you're so obsessed by race and your bigotry and your prejudice is so poisonous, you want England to lose? I, just hate, my, I hate seeing my country destroyed. My... He hates seeing his country destroyed. This, think of that cognitive dissonance right there. He wants his country to lose but he hates seeing them destroyed. He wants them to fail because if they don't then that doesn't play into his narrative. Right? Multiracialism. Anything that represents multiracialism and the media is continually promoting, uh, as we were told previously a few minutes ago in your programme, uh, the World Cup is all about the promotion of multiracialism. It's the World Cup, mate! I mean, I'm not being funny, it's the World Cup! Think about that! What did you do? The World Cup's all about multiracialism. It's the World Cup! It's a football tournament. And every team from the world. It's multi-racial and multicultural by definition. You can't have a monocultural World Cup. 
The last person who I remember making an argument like this was Marmite Man 4 when he complained that the Olympic ceremony, the, the 2012 Olympic ceremony was too multiracial and multi It's the Olympics! So you want England you want England to lose because Raheem Sterling, Deli Ali, Jesse Lingard And all those Jews who play for Tottenham. They have a different skin tone to you. Well you see when you talk about the subject of race, it goes a lot deeper. It goes a lot deeper than skin colour, doesn't it? It's not just about skin colour. Than skin colour. If you turn the average black man instead of white, you still be able to him as a black man. Yeah, you should be able to recognise a black man. Why? Because he's fucking your wife. That's about race. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not going to get into it, is he? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going right, to... Do you know what? All you lot out there, all you fucking alt-right, anti-fucking SG, anti multicultural all you lot, listen to this guy, right? Listen to him. Listen to this fucker here. Do you know why? Because listen to that miserable, fat, useless, 50 pound back pile of shit in a four pound bag listen to that dreary droning sad prick that is your future that is who you are going to turn into him that miserable prick who's just sat there wanting England to lose the World Cup because they've got four black players that's your future Next one. Let's all go on an urban safari. We might see some illegal migrants. Oi, look, there's a chav. That means council housed and violent. He's got a hoodie on, give him a hug. On second thoughts, no, you don't want to get mugged. Oh shit, too late, that was kind of dumb. Whose idea was that? Stupid cunt. Just the here. Oh, fuck off. I hate this woman already. I'm two seconds in. I'm just an ordinary common sense mum. Then what the fuck do you, are you doing? Why are you commenting on something that's clearly a fucking above your fucking above your level if you're dealing with you're trying to deal with something like brexit right or you or the eu you don't want to talk to an ordinary common person who's just a, a a human we want to talk to like someone who's an expert who's got knowledge and fucking information that they oh this is gonna be one of those cunts isn't it i'm just a salt of the earth thick as pig shit don't know couldn't could take don't know me ask for me fucking elbow wouldn't couldn't find me ask with two hands tied behind my back wouldn't know what way an elevator's going with two fucking guesses went to a mind reader got it done for fuck all but i'm just an ordinary i'm just sort of the earth working class i believe it's to derail brexit i i'm a conspiracy theorist here i'm a conspiracy theorist and i'm not going to be able to i'm a conspiracy theorist She's not a conspiracy theorist. No, she's a conspiracy. She's a whole new level of fucking derp here. She's a conspiracy theorist. She's not someone who's the. She's not someone who creates conspiracy theories. She's a theorist. She's someone whose theories. Cre I don't even know what that is. You're not supposed to admit to being a conspiracy theorist. You mad cow. That's the whole point these days. The EU is meant to make us feel isolated and vulnerable, so let's cut ourselves off from it. And against Russia. EU. Okay, who's, who's Putin? Who gave Putin that sample? They need to give yeah. They've got every right to that. Who gave Putin that sample, James? You tell me. Right, that's a question. That's a reasonable question to ask you, a DJ. I don't believe these people come from here. I just don't believe it. I just, I, I just don't, I don't believe it. That's it. It's belief in it. And I don't see what Putin has to gain. Why would he do it before the World Cup? Why would he do it before the election? What the election and the World Cup? Why would Vladimir Putin kill a spy? Why would Vladimir Putin have a spy killed? Before the World Cup. And before the election. Or oh, what, the election he won by 102%. Yeah, why would he do that? Why would Vladimir Putin do that? He's got so much to lose. It does not make any sense. It doesn't. It, I can see why. I can see because you're a common sense mum. You can answer all those questions if you want. Well, I know you've heard a lot of what you said, and some bits I agree. I hate court. I agree with the bits that that fit in with my pre pre pre-established like prejudices, but not the bits that disagree. But the first time I, don't I hate court. 
Absolutely. Like what you said, I absolutely detest the man. Right. He's a communist it's... and a communist sympathiser. Communist and a communist sympathiser. But I liked what he said and it was accurate. To what our government should have done, they've gone in with great big boots. Can I ask you a question? The biggest thing at stake in the EU is that people are out there, a lot of people know this. You, you hate Corbyn, but you want to, you, you're against Brexit, so you must agree with him on that, surely. Cathy, I, I, I think you're crackers, but we're not going <laughs> to fall out. Right. That's what happens, you see. Yeah, yeah that is what happens. Tell me, is, is you're, you're from the top three sources for news. Oh, you fuck me. Um... All sorts of things. All sorts of things. The We've got the fucking British Sarah Palin here. All sorts of things. All sorts, lots of things at the news. Well, who are my heroes? No. Heroes? He said, who do you get the news from? What do you mean, your heroes? Why would you get your news from your heroes? Why would you just ring up and say, who's your hero? Oh, Gary Oldman. I'll just ring him up. Who's your hero? Oh, David Bowie. I'll have a seance. Fucking hell. Where, where, where do you get your information from? So, so, yeah, so you're All sorts through. of stuff. I think her uh, fucking arse is the... Through a political party that I'm in. Through, through a political party that I'm in. What, what political party is that? People, and nearly 60 years of... Human nature. Sixty years of human nature. Wow! And all you had to do. And how did you gain this human nature? Wow! You simply had to be born and live. So what you're saying is your qualification. You get your news from simply being alive. This woman is everything I despise about the fucking common. I'm just a. I, they think I, people who think that because they're a parent. Speaking as a mum, speaking as a parent, right? They f or because they're fucking, I'm oh, just 60 years of fucking. Go oh, fuck off. Yeah, I, 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 so, I so, if you're 59 or you're not a mum, you've got nothing on this, but this woman's got you pegged. We're not, we're not going to fall out. So, what political party is it? Why do I need to say that? What? 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 You joined the party. A conservative and Labour, because those are the only two options. Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn are not the only two fucking options. You stupid frog bint. So you'll tell me who you don't like, but you won't tell me who you do. I think everybody knows what political party you're referring to. It's a political there's a lot of political parties out there. There's a lot of them. Lo lots of different ones. I'm a member of my own. I'm a member of 60-year-old Human Nature Party, where we just go with what fucking we go, we live on instinct and blind prejudice. We find it's a much better way than There's fact. No shame in it. And the second one after there clearly is James. That's why she's not telling you. After UKIP, it was YouTube, was it? Oh, well, you're saying that uh, YouTube. UKIP was, I was a Brexiteer and I voted for UKIP, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I was a Brexiteer and I voted for UKIP, yes. But I'm, I'm not gonna put, I don't want you to put me in a box here, but I'm a Brexiteer and I vote for UKIP. And I'm a 60 year old mum and I'm a human being and I'm alive and I've got fucking, my, my cardiovascular system converts muscle, it converts protein into muscle energy, but don't put me in a box or nothing. Was the third one 60 years of common sense? Yeah, 60 years, 60 of, years of common sense. Working with people. Sorry. Working with people, as opposed to us Labour voters and Conservative voters who all work with cyborgs and badgers and giraffes and animals, just hedgehogs, that's all we deal with. Animals and fucking Crimea. You kick, you, you kick YouTube and 60 years of common sense have led you to the conclusion... Being 60 does not mean you know anything. Vision. No, I'm just a people listener. I'm a people listener. I'm a people listener, as opposed to the rest of us who who, who haven't we haven't got we haven't figured out that yet. It's, we haven't evolved to that. We haven't got to that stage in life yet. We're we the, have the ability to hear shit, do we? People watch people. I watch people. I watch people. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to know anything. Come on, James. We know she doesn't have a university degree. This woman. She hasn't got a fucking. Provisional drop fucking bike license. Intellect, and I know you've traveled. I know you're an intellect. I know you've been places. I know you've met more people. I know you know more stuff than me. Facts, but what are facts? What are facts, really? What you're telling me is that your your opinion, which is based on UKIP and UK, she's met everyone in the fucking country, James. Everyone. I just other people, right? And of course, they're the only all sorts of people, all white people. Um, All people. Um, tell you about the tyranny they've escaped. The tyranny they they've escaped. Out. Like, you think that they lie? who? Who are you talking about? Who? I don't know why 
Wait, what, what are you talking about? I don't know either, James! If you're asking me yeah. where I get my beliefs from. Yeah, we're asking you, what do you get your information from, you stupid bitch? So the idea that the government, the government has... I get my news from YouTube. You can't get your news from YouTube. Which news on YouTube? The Young Turks, Alex Jones, fucking, you know, the, the, all the other mainstream, the BBC, the Daily Mail, they've, they've all got... As I say, I get my news from the telly. I get it from the paper. I get it off the wireless, the old radio, the old picture box. Essentially endangered the life of a police officer in order to stop Brexit. I was just interested in whether or not you'd work that out for yourself, or whether or not you... Whoever did it was careless. Whether Whoever did it was careless. Well, right, well, that's, thanks for that one, love, yeah. Whoever killed that geezer... Whoever killed that geezer was careless. Right. Well, they accidentally poisoned him. It's like, don't put the fucking salt and pepper next to the fucking anthrax, anthrax, you know, uh, uh, sir guy. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that, chief. <laughs> yeah, it's careless. You, yeah, ca Cathy, I need to get, I need to get a word in edgeways at some point, Cathy. There's no point. She's a, she's not a listener. James, she's a listener. Just speak. She's a listener. She's a listener. No, well, I can't. I can't compete with UKIP and YouTube because uh, there's a depth of knowledge and investigation undertaken by... I'm not with UKIP anymore. Right, so what... What, you voted for me in the last election? That was fucking... All right, Kathy. It was last year. Because you have to ask, don't you? If someone claims that... Because we have to know what the truth is. you the truth. You have to ask what the source is. Don't you, Kathy? How about that? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's it. I don't believe it. I refuse, I just don't believe, I, I, do, I don't believe it. I do not believe you wanted to do that. Alone in believing well, that. Well, and I'm not alone in believing it, there are lots of other fucking pig ignorant twats out there too. Let's all go on an urban safari, we might see some illegal migrants. Oi, look there's a chav, that means council, housed and violent. He's got a hoodie on, give him a hug. I was looking for stoke, you don't want to get mugged. Oh shit, too late, that was kind of dumb. Whose idea was that, stupid cunt? I live in Harrow. Yeah. When I go down to Harrow, and this is not being racist, James. And this is not being racist, that is the perfect way to start this conversation, mate. Um, this is not being racist, I know this, because I've asked myself. And I said, I said, is it racist? Is it racist? Is it racist? No, it's not racist. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Well, there you go. Then it can't be. I mean, who would? I would know, wouldn't I? Are you saying I wouldn't know if I'm being racist? That that term is so. Easy it's so easily to thrown it's about when people well, say Harrow, things about different races years. of people. I walk into Harrow Shopping Centre, and I swear to God, I don't know where I am. You're in Harrow Shopping Centre, mate. You've just said you've lived there thirty years. I've got. Polish, Romanians, Bulgarians sitting outside. How do you know they're Polish, Roman, and Bulgarians? Coffee houses doing sod all day. They're sat outside a coffee house doing sod all day, and you know this because you've sat there and watched them. Presumably, it's because you've done sod all day, or do you work at a coffee house? I've got every nationality under the sun, and, I've, and it's lost its identity. It's, it's lost its identity. It's got too many different types of people. I don't know where I. I need everyone else to be exactly like me. Otherwise, I don't know who the fuck I am. I'm that sh I'm that weak. Three Sundays ago, because I had to go in an emergency, I walked into the into the accident emergency. As I said to your to your researcher, 120 people in there. I was lucky if I saw three or four white faces. He's complaining that. The okay, wait. You went into the hospital, into the accident and emergency, and there were 120 people there uh, waiting. And you saw and they were they were all black brown apart from three of three or four of them, right? And so, uh, right. So what you're saying is there weren't enough sick white people there for you, right? What you're saying is you you want more white people to be injured and sick and in need of immediate medical assistance. Did you notice that a lot of those brown people they've been waiting for so long? A lot of them had started working there as nurses and doctors. Okay what a fucking thing to complain about! There's not enough white people who are sick. No, no, it isn't because you're, you're you're forming an opinion of people or their or their value based on their. It's not racist. Though. It's not racist. Faces who are just as British as you and me, Steve. Perhaps there are, James. Perhaps. Perhaps there are. Perhaps. Maybe. Possibly. Steve, mate, let's not do this. Let's do it nicely. Just tell me the European Union country that that is populated by non-white people. Couldn't tell you. Well, have a go, have a little think. Okay. 
Can I get a question again? Uh, well, the European <laughs> Union, Because we're talking about your reasons for leaving the European Union, and then you mentioned the fact that there weren't any white people in Northwood Park Hospital. So which European Union country... All of whom are still going to be there after you vote leave. Is it, are, are essentially non-white. Probably none. So probably none. OK, that's as close as we're going to get. Yes, probably none. No, none is the correct answer. Apart from Islam, that is the one European country... So why are you talking about those people, then? No, this is not backtracking, mate. This is the same point you were making. You've just taken where you left off. If you people according to their skin colour, then you are. And I, I say this with love and, and reluctance, then you are indulging in racial prejudice. But the judge is... Uh, but, 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 It means what I just said. I voted to leave the European Union because there's too many brown people who are injuring themselves. There's not enough. They're taking up all the white sick people. That emergency room used to be packed with injured white people, people who are sick and dying, diseased. Oh, here we go. Oh God, I bet they're were the shaking area. Twenty three tills open. Twenty three tills. Twenty two of them, okay. Yes, mate. Uh, Indians or Pakistani people. Because Indian and Pakistan are in the EU. And oh yeah, the fucking Indians and Pakistanis coming over here nicking our lucrative fucking cashier our, our fucking checkout girl jobs. God, you know, there's so many fucking So so you want to see more white people having minimum wage Working as cashier with checkout girls, uh, check, you know, working on till writ and tills in supermarkets, and being injured in the accident and emergency. Talking about the European Union, Steve. Yes, but but it's India, it's Pakistan, the EU, EU is it? This to the manager, okay? the Think of the big picture. Me, we have to reflect the local community. He means he's going to hire local people because minimum wage jobs are better suited to local people because they're more likely to turn up to them. If you start hiring people who live fucking four, three buses and two trains away, then they're going to be more unreliable. That's a fact. He just... And the point I'm trying to make, James, you're, you're, So he shouldn't have hired those people. You're trying to... Uh, it's your degree, defend me, but to attack me is... Is that right, James? Mate, it, it, that is, is it right that, that, that the, this, this shop owner hired people who lived locally who happened to be of Indian and Pakistani origin? Uh, but maybe they were. How do you know they even were? I don't even know. I mean, how do you know they weren't even born? I don't fucking know. It's a, sh it's a cashier. Go on the self-checkout if you want a white bloke. Is this bloke against brown people in general or just does he not like it when they're surrounding him? If they sort of manage to move, like we got them all to sort of be sort of one mile in a radius around him, so he's not like, would it be better for him? We voted out of Europe. Because we've got too many brown people on the tills in Howard. Not about, no, it's not about having too many, but when I was... Well, what, what is it then, Steve? Just can't make, slow down a little bit. Because if, if you're not complaining about... He couldn't slow down much more, James. He's slow enough as it is. ...the number of brown people in the supermarket. But the reason, I'm, the reason I'm saying that is, James, is because that is why people voted yeah. to leave Europe. Because of they're racist. Great Britain I don't disagree with you. <laughs> no, it's not because of Great Britain losing its identity. It's because people are fighting the brown people. No, it's not about it. No, James. What difference does it make to me? Just help me out here, because I, I can kind of get my... It, just because I, I work Steve, on the shut every up! Day, so I have no idea what colour anybody is. I could, oh. Steve, stop talking. <laughs> stop talking just for a moment, my friend. All right? Why does it matter to you what colour the person... It doesn't matter to me, but 
They're just all brown. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, matter but it, it matters. Not by my milk off, uh, uh, James. I love how he says it doesn't matter, that's not the point, and then he literally repeats that same point. Out of Europe. They're not arguing with you. They voted out of Europe because they think there's too many brown people in their hometowns. Is it, is it, is it unfair to say that they're arguing with you because they think there's too many brown people in their hometowns? Is it not racist to say that because they hire people who are local, is that not racist? What, to the local community of Harrow? gets me a uh, hearing other people break down like that so it's a fucking oh anyway I am um, I'm gonna call that a day there I hope you've enjoyed this video my name is Dick Coughlin um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like uh, give it a 
give it a favourite, share it around, and if you please subscribe to the channel. And if you if you enjoy my work here on YouTube, you want to see you want to see more of it more often, please go and support my Patreon. And uh, and this is my main source of income. This is how I earn a living. So any support I get on Patreon is very much appreciated. Every single dollar I get uh, matters immensely. Um, if you don't want to do a Patreon, there's a PayPal down there. You can do a one-off donation, or you can go to my merchandise store. Other than that, thank you very much for listening. My name's Dick Coughlin. Um, thank you very much. Good night. Uh, and this is uh, the first episode of Dick Reacts. Tell me what you think. Good night. Where there's no sense, there's no feeling. May God be less.